Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Yon Chikino. I want to do a quick guide slash tutorial on how to set up and install and use the new Heart of the Swarm custom observer interfaces. So first off, I'm going to provide you a link to this uh, thread, to this page in the description. It'll be called like link one and then a bunch of stuff. You can click on that and that'll get you to what I'm looking at right now on sc2mapster.com. So first off, we need to make a folder called interfaces. For that, let's go to our documents folder, then go to StarCraft 2. Next up, we're going to click on the accounts folder, go in there, and then we're going to click on our Battle.net uh, account. So uh, there may be two different accounts in here, depending on how many people you have on your computer. Uh, if you want to have all of those accounts have the interface, you have to do that for each one individually. Uh, but for me, there's only one, so I just go through this one. And uh, likewise through here, this is your user account. So I'm just going to go through and click through this folder as well. And here we got it. So I'm in my final folder and I've already created my interfaces folder. So to do this pretty simply, just you know, right click, new folder, and then label it inter interfaces. So this is where you place your SC2 interface file once you've downloaded it. To download it, you can get it from the exact same thread I've mentioned in link uh, in the link one. There's three of them posted so far. There's a launch event one, uh, reskinned interface, which is the one I was using, and then a minimalized one. To download these, you can just go to the very bottom uh, right here. There's three different ones. You can just click and download those, and then right, just click save link as and then place them in the interfaces fol folder that you just created. And like I said, if you have multiple accounts, you need to put it for each individual one. Another thing to note, uh, along with all the other great information in this thread that I highly suggest, you, highly suggest you should read if you wanna get some more information about it, but just another quick useful feature, here is the custom team logo and all these other uh, new hotkeys that you're going to uh, maybe find some use for. A uh, lot of things added in here that isn't completely visible unless you, you know, know the hotkeys for it. So some cool stuff just to check out. So now that we've got the interface we want to use, um, or even all the interfaces you want to use, you can put two, three in there, however many you want, just fill them up, whatever. So we know which interface we want to use. Now we're going to jump into StarCraft 2, and actually I'll show you how to open it up. So here we are in StarCraft 2. Let's pop up the menu, and then we're going to go straight to Options. Next up, we're going to go to... Uh, gameplay and under gameplay there's a little option way down here in the bottom right it's called called observer interface right now this is the current one I've selected is called reskin and then if you have multiple ones in here they'll all each have their own individual name or you can just go back to the default one called none now you can just kind of switch it around and that's that's really all you have to do to enable it now keep in mind that you need to have your observer interface selected before you go in the game you cannot enable it once you're in the game. That's it guys, this should be uh, pretty nice and easy. I know a couple of you were asking me how to do it and that's, that's how you do it. So uh, thanks for watching, see you guys later.